Yo, so today we're going to be breaking down a simple melody for someone like Yeet and then throwing some drums on it at the end. Alright, so all the sounds I'm using in this video are from Sunboy's one-shot cake called Pills, and he went ahead and gave me a discount code to give you guys. So it's Pineapple20 for 20% off at checkout. You guys know that his kits are my go-to for all of these Yeet type melodies, so definitely go check out this kit and all of his other kits, and don't forget to use the code for 20% off. Alright, so for the first sounds in the melody, it's two that get layered together for the main chord sound. So the first one is a synth called Gollum, and then the second one is a lead called Peso that I turned into a pluck by messing with the start offset and then the out knob to create a more plucky sound rather than a constant synth. So then here's the MIDI for the Gollum synth and it's just a two bar chord pattern that repeats for the rest of the time with a top line that only appears in the first half of the melody. The main thing I wanted to touch on with this MIDI is what chords to use so there's a really easy way to get these dark sounding synth chords. So you want to use the root note in the second or the root note in the fifth. So if we go back to the MIDI I pitch it up to D sharp minor but here we have the root note then the A sharp is the fifth and then the F is the second and then again the fifth. So it's just a really easy method to get these perfect dark sounding synth chords for these E type of melodies. The other chords in this melody follow the same basic process and then the only additional thing I did to the chords was add root notes to them to give a fuller and darker sound. Next for the MIDI I went ahead and figured out these little accent melodies that happen within the chords and an easy way to come up with these is by sticking to the notes next to each other in the scale. So in D sharp minor that's F, F sharp, A sharp, and B so I went ahead and stuck to these and it gave me a very dark sounding counter melody. So again if we go back and look at the original MIDI you can see it all of those notes I just mentioned are pretty much what I use. So we have this F, the F sharp, the A sharp, and the B and then the the only outlier in this whole melody is this G sharp that just appears once. Finally, we can move on to the top line, which only happens in the first half of the melody, just to give it a little bit of variation. So I have the option when I'm arranging it to just use the chords or use the chords with the top line. So if we go ahead and look at this, it's again the notes next to each other in the scale. So we have that F and then the F sharp. And then again, the only outlier in the entire melody is a G sharp. This pretty much follows the same pattern as Still Counting, which came out last Friday, but overall it's just a super nice sounding melody. The, the reason why this sounds so good is because there's no very variation in the timing of the notes. They're all hitting at the exact same time so it gives the melody a really nice rhythm. For the variation in the top line, I just have it playing the exact same notes but this section is pitched down an octave. So you can see this F and F here happen here and then that G sharp gets pitched down actually two octaves but overall having those lowered an octave just gives it a little extra variation and helps it transition into the chord only section a little bit easier. And then the last thing I wanted to mention that has to do with the chords is you don't have to use that formula with the root note the fifth or the root note the second. You can experiment which will give you even better results but it's just the easiest and quickest way to do it. Then for the MIDI that's the lead called peso that I turned into a pluck. It just copies those exact same chords but I went ahead and took out the accent melodies that happened here and here. The last thing I did was copied one note out of the top line being this E and you can see that normally in my normal melodies that I would have it offset here so it layers perfectly with the clap pattern but in the top line it actually happened right here and overall that little offset just kind of gave it a different rhythm and it almost makes it feel a bit off time but it works well in the entire melody. So then I ended up adding effects on both of those so first on the Gollum synth we have Valhalla Space Modulator on the flange down preset and I have the mix turned to 50%. Next we have Gross Beat on a one beat gate that is messed up a little bit and then the basic 8 preset preset which is a reverse and then I also added in a little tape stop. This is on an automation clip and only comes in the melody when the top line is not in so those chords alone still do sound really interesting. Next we have an EQ to just filter it out but I have the mix turned down to 50% so you don't really hear it and it overall just kind of makes it a bit thinner. Then we have an EQ that just cuts the lows to make room for an 808 and then finally an imager to make it mono. And then for the peso sound that I turned into a pluck first we have finisher micro on the infinity preset turned pretty much all the way down. Fruity delay 3 on the ping pong preset with the time turned up and the mix turned way down and EQ just to fade out of the highs and then boost the mids and EQ to completely cut the lows so again there's room for an 808 and then finally an imager to make it feel all nice and wide. So then lastly we have the automation clips which I mentioned was just the gross beat so as you can see like I mentioned before it only comes in with the top lines not in so even though these chords are less busy and overall a little bit less interesting that gross beat fixes that so each of the bits are just as interesting. So overall these sounds combine really nicely together so here's what they sound like.
for the next sound in the melody, I went ahead and grabbed a base from again that same pills one shot kit, and it's the base called Orbit. And overall, it's just a really great sounding base that'll fill up the low end very nicely. So then here's the MIDI for that base, and it's again super simple, and it just follows the root notes. And the only thing that I did different from a normal bass pattern is because this is a one shot, you can do more intense velocity controls. So if I go ahead and look at these chops on the root note, you can see that I have them decreasing in velocity, so it gives it a really interesting and almost a delay effect to it. And then I didn't end up putting any effects on that because it was a good sound as is so here's what it sounds like So then for the next sounds in the melody, they're all three lead sounds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them together because all of the midis are relatively simple. So the first one is a lead called Y, and of course from that Pills one shot kit. The second one is a lead called Pills. And the third one is a variation of the lead called Pills, but I went ahead and made it slidey so it behaves like a normal lead that you would hear in something like Syrup. So before I go ahead and break down the first midi, how you make one shot slidey is you go over here to this wrench knob within the sampler, go over to the polyphony section, turn the max to one, turn the slide however much you want it to slide. So I have it at point zero. 06, turn on the porta and turn on the mono. This will just make it so you have a super nice glidey lead like you would in Serum. So here's the MIDI for the lead called Y and overall it's a super simple pattern and it just copies a note from the chords in the first MIDI. So this is the second of the scale so we're in C sharp minor so C sharp would be the first and then D sharp is the second. The only interesting thing I have this doing is the little pause at the end and this pause matches perfectly with the growth speed that also has a pause in it so when this lead and the growth speed chords are in they match perfectly in the pauses at the same time to give a break for the listeners. And then here's the MIDI for the lead called pills and this is the first version of it without the slide so this just goes ahead and copies some notes from that first midi and i honestly don't really know what i do here because my process for lead melodies is usually just clicking it in by ear and letting the melody play through and through again till i get the notes sounding right and the timing right and then for the final midi again it's the pills lead but this is the version that i made slide so if we go ahead and look at here and normally for a one shot to make it slide you'd have to do s and then make a slide note like that but since i turned the portamento on in the sampler i didn't have to do that so you can see this should be a slide note if i didn't have that turned on but since it is, it just slides normally like a serum lead. And again, unfortunately, I don't have a good method to teach you for making these lead patterns. It's really just trial and error, listening over and over and over again till you get the right sound. So then I ended up adding effects on all three of those. So for the first one, which is the wide lead, I went ahead and added the black hole portal preset with the mix turned to about 50%, an EQ to cut all of the mids and all of the lows, and then finally a pancake on the default preset with the mix turned down to 60%. Next for the second lead, which is the pills lead that is not made slidey, we have a fruity fast distort that is automated, a halftime on the one bar preset with the smoothing turned all the way to the FX, which is also automated, and then finally an EQ just to really filter it out, and this is also automated. And then the only thing I have on the last sound, which is the pills lead that is made slidey in the sampler, is just a ping pong delay with the time turned slightly up. So then the final thing I wanted to mention with the leads is the automation clips, and I really just tried to match these up with the breaks in the second pills lead. So as you can see here in the second pills lead, we have a break, so I went ahead and turned off the EQ, faded out of the halftime and then turned off the distortion. So it kind of bounces back and forth and overall just gives a more interesting effect. Like I mentioned in my last video, automation clips are probably my biggest tip to improve your melodies as a whole. So it just gives you complete control over your effects, which is really useful in creating unique melodies. So overall, these are a couple interesting lead melodies that kind of mesh really well together. So here's what they sound like. So overall, I think those automation clips really spiced up the second half of the lead pattern. Even though it is a super simple MIDI, it sounds really complex with all of those automation clips. So then I ended up rendering it out all together, and then once you put all the sounds together, here's what it ends up sounding like. So overall, I really like the way this melody turned out, and I think it's a little bit different from the Yeet type melodies I usually do. So now we can go ahead and get started on the drums.
all right so that's going to be pretty much it for the video i'm pretty happy with how the drums are right now but i'm going to add a switch up with the hi-hats down an octave and then make the melody super filtered out that's pretty much all I'll change with the drums and it'll pretty much stay the same way it is now uh but uh don't forget to use the code on the kit all of his kits are really good and uh yeah that's pretty much it have a great rest of your afternoon yeah have a great rest of your afternoon and yeah that's pretty much it bye thanks for watching